a sting than the wet puspanjali. My heart, like flowers, thousands and thousands of times, at the lotus feet of my holy master, my supremely worshipable spiritual Gurudev, Asmadiya Paramaraja Tama Guru Pada Padma, Nitya Leela Pravisht Om Vishnu Pada, Ashto Tarasatasi Rupanuga Charivarya, Silvakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami. Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Param Gurudev to Srila Prabhupada and to our whole Sri Rupanuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. And finally, I offer my pranam to all my very dear God brothers and God sisters, all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, Vanchakal Patrubhasa, Kripas and Devata, Patitanam Pavali Mio Vaishnavi Mio Namora Maha. Ki jabe ki jabe re pa Srila Rochandas Thakur, he's saying, Oh brothers, who will cross over this ocean of Kali Yuga? You know, this is a very difficult time. Prayin alpa ayusha sabya klavas min jugejana mandasu mandamate o mandabhagi upadrtaha. In this age of Kali, then life is very short. Not more than 100 years. For many persons, not even 80 or 60, 50 years. Life is very short. Death can come at any moment. And prayin alpa ayusha sabya klavas min jugejana manda. And the people, they are lazy. Hmm? Not for material activities. People are very busy doing material things. But when it comes to chanting the holy names and mm, studying Gita and Bhagavatam and all of these things, worshipping their deities, then people are very lazy. Hmm? They don't want to do any strong sadhan. Mandasa hmm? manda And also... Mm. The, if a person, even if they have quite long life and they're not lazy, they want to do sadhan, but their intelligence is very low, mm. their consciousness is very down in the gunas, mm. and hupadruttaha, it means that in each and every day many problems come in this Kali Yoga, so one is always disturbed, mm. the telephone is always ringing, mm. Always there's some disaster, some calamity going on in your family or in your, amongst your friends. Like this, so one disturbance after another coming like waves in the ocean without any end. So how will anyone progress in spiritual life in this age of Kali? Who will cross over this ocean? But Srila Lotanda Stakuri is saying, don't fear, don't be in anxiety. Why? Dhanya Kali Yuga Chaitanya Avatar. This Kali Yuga is not like the others. In the one day of Lord Brahma, there are 1,000 Kali Yugas. And you, yes, you, you are very lucky. Because now you have been born in Dhanya Kali, the most fortunate and blessed Kali Yuga. It is that one Kali Yuga in which Sachinandan Gohari himself personally appears to distribute Harinam Sankirtan and distribute Braja Prem, Krishna Prem, Radha Dasam, the service of Radhika. Even to one and all. Go, Premanande! So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so merciful. Sri Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati Thakura said, Patra patra vicharanam na kurute na swam param bhikshate deya deya vimashako nahinava kala patiksha prabhu sadhya 
सद्यो या श्रवण एक्शना प्रणमना ध्याना दिना ढोलबम दाते भक्ति रसम सैव भगवम गौर परम मे गति ओ सचिदंदन गोहरी ही इज द माय सुप्रीम शेल्टर माय ओनली शेल्टर माय एक्सक्लूसिव शेल्टर व्हाई बिकॉज ही इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग नॉट ओनली भक्ति बट भक्ति रसा दैट मींस दही भाव रति लव फॉर कृष्णा इन infused with the vibhav anubhav sattvik bhav vyavachari bhav and becomes extremely relishable swadhaniya becomes extremely relishable and that is called bhakti ras so that rasa which is very difficult to attain in previous yugas by hearing chanting remembering meditating doing puja mapu is giving easily through hari naam sankirtan and to whom is he giving patra patra vicharanam na kurute he never makes any deliberation whether you are qualified or unqualified whether you have patrata or you don't have patrata that means that you are a worthy recipient for this gift or not just like there was a wealthy man and he decided i want to distribute kheer sweet rice mahaprasad to everyone so he had the cooks prepare and offer to krishna a very big container of sweet rice and he was there and he was serving and all the people many poor people came with their containers standing in a line and he was giving sweet rice to everyone but he saw one person standing in the distance looking very sad he said hey come on why don't you come and take some kheer then the poor person said i have no container he said don't worry i'll give you a container come here so then he took his own tiffin and gave to that poor person and then he filled that tiffin with kheer So Mahaprabhu was like that. And that means, oh, even you have no patrata, you have no container. Mahaprabhu will make you qualified and then fill your heart with prema rasa. Go prema nanda. You see, Krishna, he's always looks whether you're qualified or not. In Gita, he has said this: "Ye yatamam prapadyante, thans tatayva bajami ham." as all surrender to me i am reward them accordingly if they 50% surrender to me i 50% re- respond to them like this if they want to get mukti liberation then i give them mukti if they want to get aishwarya mm, um, mood of opulence and serve me by god i will give them that mm. so whatever mood a person has then krishna is just reciprocating with them mm. so he takes into account your a uh, qualification patata but krishna naam is so nice the holy name of krishna vacham vachakam udeti bhavato nama surupadvayam purvasmat parameva hantakaranam tatrapi janinahe yas tasmin bihita paradane bha prani samantas pagat asinadam upasso upihi sadanam dam budo majjati rupa goswami pad said krishna has two forms one is vacha krishna himself and one is vachakam the name the syllables krishna krishna and though krishna is merciful and though krishna is non different from his name but though krishna and his name are non different still there's a difference and the difference is that krishna naam is more merciful than krishna mm-hmm. but krishna naam kari aparadara vicha in the chanting of krishna naam there's a mm, consideration of whether you made offenses so the holy naam name doesn't care whether you are sinful or pious or anything he will liberate everyone but there's some condition of a uh, consideration of aparad hmm? so krishna he sees your qualification krishna naam doesn't see qualification but he will see aparad but chaitanya mahaprabhu patra patra vicharanam na kurute he doesn't see your qualification and gora naam does not see any aparad also mm-hmm. chaitanya nitananda nahi ei sab vichar naam lele prema dena bohe asudha the names of gornita i make no consideration of offense even if an offensive person will chant nitai gorang jayo nitai gorang Then very quickly, hmm? then there will 
begin to weep and this love for Krishna will appear in the heart. So, patra patra vicharanam na kurute na swam param mikshate. Mapu never sees whether you are his own or belong to anyone else, whether you are mm, from mm, Gauda Desh Nabadweep or whether you are any outsider. He never sees this. Deha deha vimashako nahinava kala patiksha padu. Mahapu never considers whether what he's giving should be given or not. Huh? Because what is Sri Chaitanya Mahapu giving? It was never given before. Chirada datam nija gupta vitam. So premana mamrita atyurudro aparamar yo vitatara gora krishna janibyas tamaham prapadhe. Chirada datam. That which was not given for a long, long time. Nija gupta vitam. See Krishna's own secret, secret wealth. Hmm? What is that? His very private pastimes, Nikunjalila. Even Lalita and Vishak and others cannot come and see and serve at the time of those pastimes. That is Radha Krishna's own secret wealth. Hmm? And now in Kali Yuga, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, through Harinam Sankirtan, through an inspiring all in Raganuga Bhakti, he's bringing them into that Nitya Nikunja Seva. So they had they have been. Mahaprabhu is not thinking, should I give this or not? This secret thing? No. Let me give. Hmm? Kala Pratiksha, he never waits for a proper time. Hmm? He never thinks if you are young or old. Oh, what time is it? Hmm? You know what time it is? It's 5000 past Kali Yuga. <laughs> hmm? That's the time. In Kali Yuga, all the, the, the jivas who are left on earth in this Kali Yuga, they are the dregs. Hmm? They are the dregs who were left over. So many incarnations came in Satyuk, Tretyuk and Dwapa Yuga and liberated everyone. Hmm? And But we are still here in this Kali Yuga. So Mapu, but now he never considers what time it is also. And he is very mostly giving the greatest gift. Anapita acherim charat kurunaya vate nakal samar paitamunnat uchvala sam svabhakti sriyam. So he is very, very kind. Hmm? You know, in Bhagavad Gita, see Krishna said, Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutha nam dhamasya tadatma nam sajam yam. When the dharma is going down and all sinful irreligious activities are becoming very popular among the ignorant people, at that time I appear myself to establish dharma. Pritranaya sadhunam binasya chaduskritam dharmastam stapanapaya sambhavami yuga yuga to annihilate the demons and to deliver the sadhus, the pure devotees, and to establish dharma. I appear. Some um, the you gay, you gay. That means age after age. That means when I appear in Dwarpa Yuga, in the very next Yuga, the Kali Yuga, I appear as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Gauru Lila is actually a continuation of Krishna Lila. It's not separate. Hmm? This is why Krishna Krishna only appears once in the day of Lord Brahma. In one Dwarpa Yuga, in the life of Lord Brahma, out of a thousand. But Krishna again appears as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately afterwards. This means Gauru Lila is not a separate Lila. It's a continuation of Krishna Lila. Hmm? Because Krishna, though he say, I appear and I establish Dharma, establishing Dharma and killing demons, that is not Krishna's business. Hmm? Because Brahma, he has the service of creating, Shiva has the service of destroying, and Vishnu has the service of maintaining Dharma in the universe. So this is not Krishna's business. Hmm? But when Sri Krishna appears in this world at that time, all the avatars, they enter into him. Hmm? Yeah, all the avatars enter into him. And then at the end of his Lila, when he, he goes, he becomes aprakat from this world, then as he's going back to Golok, then as Krishna's passing through Vaikuntha, then Lord Narayan comes out of him and goes back to Vaikuntha. As he's going past Nishinga Lok, Lord Nishinga then comes out. You know, just like if you get in the um, elevator in the Empire State Building here in New York. So many people get in at the bottom and someone gets off on the 10th floor, someone gets off on the 50th floor, someone gets on the 60th floor. So when see Krishna's going back to Golok, Mm? Then all the avatars which were in him during the avatar kal, they're getting out one by one as he's going past their locks. 
So Nishingadev gets out, Lord Ramachandra gets out as he goes past Ayodhya. Hmm? And Krishna, in his um, opulent feature, he goes to Golok. But, uh, you see, the thing is that Krishna Brindavan Bihari Lal, he doesn't go anywhere. He's still here in Brindavan. He doesn't go anywhere, he just becomes uppercut. Hmm? But those who are fortunate who are staying in Brindavan and doing bhajan there, they can see Krishna is still here today, playing his flute, and taking the cows to graze on the bank of Jamuna. Hmm? So, Rupa Goswami said, Tishtan Brajaita Danuragi Janaanagami. If you can, best of all, stay in Brajmanda. I'm inviting you all come. Live with me in Brindavan. We have plenty of rooms in the ashram for everyone. Tistan Brajay Tadanuragi Tananugami. Stay in Braj and internally follow those eternal associates of Krishna who have rag, intense loving thirst. So, see Krishna, when he comes to this world, why does he come? Not to establish Dharma. Vishnu inside him is doing this. He comes because Premaras Nirjas Karite Ashwadan Ragamaga Bhakti Loke Karite Pracharan. Krishna comes to this world only to taste the essence of Premarasa. And incidentally, to preach, to spread the Ragamark, spontaneous Bhakti. Because Many persons serve Krishna in this world according to rules and regulations, according to their own mm, identity. With Abhiman, with a worldly identity, they're serving Krishna. But this is called Vaidhi Bhakti. By this Vaidhi Bhakti, anyone cannot attain the mood of Braj. Sakale jagati kare more vidhi bhakti vidhi bhav vidhi bhakti braja bhava paiti nahi shakti If someone has the mood, O oh Krishna, you are Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, all powerful, all pervading, and all, all knowing, omniscient, and, and they serve him according to rules and regulations, they cannot develop the strong feelings of love by which they can attain eternal service in Braja. Only if a person will hear about the beautiful love of the residents of Brindavan, and hearing that become, develop some greed to relish the sweetness of their loving service, and then giving up all ahankar, all false ego, and simply following their moods, not your moods, following in the wake of their moods, then gradually, gradually, this uh, perfection of Braj Bhav can manifest. So Krishna comes for this. Chirakala nahikari prema bhakti dan bhakti bina jagatera nahi avastan. Krishna was thinking that actually, unless this Braj Bhakti is flowing within the world, then no need for the world. The whole universe is useless. Hmm? What's the point of this world? Hmm? What's the point? No use. No use at all. Hmm? Only everyone fighting with each other, politics and this and that, and then dying. Useless. This world has no purpose at all, except for it is a chance for the living entities, for every soul, to attain spontaneous love for Krishna in Braj. That's what this world is for. Hmm? That's what this world is for. That's why you were born. Not for anything else. Everything else is distraction. Hmm? And waste of time. Hmm? Just like, don't be like children. Child, child is not doing anything, just playing in the sand. Hmm? So if you're not doing bhajan, you are like a child, just playing in the sand. Doing what? Making a castle and falling apart again. Everything you're doing will be gone. Finished. Hmm? The purpose of this world, the purpose of your birth, the purpose of your life is bhajan. To Krishna, don't lose your time. So Krishna, he comes to relish rasa and to distribute this and to show this um, path of Radhamag through his devotees. So similarly, when Krishna, he performed his Leela in this world, it was most wonderful. But at, at the end, when his Leela was completed here, then he realized, my Leela is not complete. 
I have to again come. I'll appear again. Yuga, yuga. After Dwarpa Yuga, the next Kali Yuga, I have to appear again. Why? Sri Radaya Pranaya Mahima Kidrisho Vanayaeva Swadyo Ye Nadbuta Madurima Kidrisho Vamadaya So Kyam Chasya Madanu Bhavataha Kidrisham Veti Lobhat Tad Bhavatya Samajani Sachi Garba Sindho Harindu because see, Krishna realized, I have three desires that I could not fulfill in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan. What is that? First, first of all, see Radhaya Pranaya Mahima. How great is the love of Radhika? I cannot believe it. Hmm? This is astonishing. Radhika Prema Guru Amisisanat Amasadanana Nite Nata Udbhat. If you want to know the essence of Krishna's Vrindavan Lila, the essence of Vrindavan Lila is Krishna is going to school and he's taking lessons from Radha Prem. The love of Radhika is his guru. And each day he is learning new and wonderful things that he never knew before. Hmm. This is Vrindavan Lila. Hmm. Topmost Lila. <laughs> There are two students. Hmm? That is Radha and Krishna, both. And they are studying in a college. What is that college? Vrindavan Chattasa. Vrindavan is a college. And who is the teacher? Hit Pandey. Prema Pandit. Prem is the professor. Love is the professor of Vrindavan. And Radha Krishna learning there. But especially, it is the Prem of Radhika that is teaching Sri Krishna. And what is the curriculum in that college? Vidya Vishada Biha. Beautiful amorous pastimes in the in pleasure groves of Vrindavan, in the kunjas of Radha Kund. This is a curriculum. So this is the essence of Krishna Lila. And though Krishna tries to discover what is the, how deep is the love of Radhika, he cannot discover, he cannot find the end of it. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad here said, Viborakti kalayan sadabi vridhim, guru api gaurava charyaya bihina, muho upachita vakrima api sudho, jayati madhudvisha radhika nuragaha. Oh, glories to the Anurag, the love of Shimati Radhika. Vibhara Pikalyan Sadabi Vridhim. Even though the Prem, the love of Radhika, is everywhere, it is all pervading, leaving no space to expand. But still, the Prem of Radhika is increasing, increasing, increasing. All the time. Hmm? So astonishing. When Radha and Krishna meet, hmm? Milita milita mila wo chahe, mili mila niki bu, mili raska bar prima so, pratichinam bar to fu. When the son of Nanda Maharaj and the daughter of Brishubhana Maharaj, they sneak away from their homes in the night time and meet together in the kunjas of Vrindavan. At that time, though they are meeting, but they desire, they still desire to meet. Hmm? Because when they are meeting, even though they're meeting, they forget that they are meeting. Because the, the anurag, the praying is so intense. Radha Krishna's experience of each other is newer and newer and newer at every moment. At every second, their love is growing and growing. Though Radha and Krishna have been meeting together from time with no beginning and no middle and no end, but when they meet, they don't recognize each other. Who are you? Hmm? Radhika says, Kopala, who's, 
Oh, Lalita, who is that boy? What kind of brain is this? Hmm? Inconceivable. Hmm? And even then Radhika is in the, in the lap of Krishna, embraced by Krishna. Ankastite pidaite pirkim pralapam Ha mohaneti maduram vidadate kasmat Shama nudagam madhvivala mohanangi Shama mani jati kapin kunjasimni Radhika being in the lap of Krishna and she cries Ha mohan, ha mohan, where are you, where are you? Madhvivala mohanangi, completely bewildered Thinking that Krishna has left. Hmm? This is a praying by Chitya. Astonishing feelings of separation. Even at the time of meeting. Hmm? Why? Because in the stage of Anurag. Radhika's desire to relish the sweetness of Krishna. Is so intense. Her buddhi becomes so fine. She's trying to relish all the sweetness of Krishna. But her buddhi is so fine, it's exactly like if you have a, a small, very fine needle with a small hole and you try to thread it with cotton. I don't know if you've ever done this. And the cotton is actually a little bit thicker than the hole in the needle. So you try to put and you're trying and, yeah, and you try to... And then finally you poke it and a, a little bit of the thread goes through and you grab that and then you pull it but it's not the whole thread, so you pull it like that and then it all becomes entangled on the other side. Eh? Because only one fine thread will go through, but the whole thread won't come through. Eh? So in the same way, Radhika's buddhi is so relishing each aspect of Sri Krishna's sweetness and beauty that she cannot relish all Krishna's qualities at once. Only one quality of Krishna can come in her mind at a time, not all at once. <coughs> So if she'll see the beauty of his eyes, she'll forget everything else. If she'll hear the sweetness of his voice, she can only relish the sweetness of his voice. Everything else disappears. If she only feels the, the coolness of his touch, she feels that and everything else disappears. Like this. So when Radhika is only hearing the sound, the sweetness of Sri Krishna's voice, she becomes absorbed in that one quality and everything else disappears. Then she thinks, where did Krishna go? Ha Mohan Eti Madhuram Vidadati Kasman and cry. Ha Mohan, Ha Mohan, where are you? Where are you? Hmm? So Vibharapi Kalayan Sadabi Bridhim. The prem of Radhika is unlimited, but in every moment increasing. But it's in a bar at the full, blossoming more and more in every moment. Krishna cannot believe it. What is this prem? This prem of Radhika is my guru. Hmm? Gurapi Gauravacharya Vina. Even though there is nothing greater than the Prem of Radhika, but she is completely devoid of pride. Very, very humble. Very humble. Once Krishna, he had, he met with Chandravali and he was late to meet with Radhika. So when Krishna came, then Radhika told him, Njahi Madhava. Jahi Keshav Mabad Kaitav Vadam Mabad Kaitav Vadam Go away. Madhav. Madhav means Dhav, husband of Ma, the goddess of fortune. So tonight Chandravali was very fortunate. So Madhav, you are her beloved. Go to her. Jahi Madhav. Jahi Keshav. Kesha means who, after loving pastimes, he decorates the, combs the hair and decorates the hair of his beloved with flowers. Kesha. Hey, why did you come here? Kesha, go there. And you should finish decorating, Chandravali. Krishna said, this is not true. I don't want to hear your lies. Go. And see, Krishna begged again and again, but Radhi would not accept and Krishna left. Upaksha. Hmm? There are so many ways to break man, and if they all fail, last one is Upeksha. Upeksha, just go away. Go away. <laughs> Don't make it worse <laughs> by the presence. You are already too late. <laughs> <laughs> so then Krishna went away. Then afterwards, Radhika became in Kalahanti Tavasta. That means she was grateful. <gasps> Why was I so harsh to Krishna? 
Hmm? Why was I so harsh? And she felt great regret. So then she told the Saki, oh, please tell him, please ask him to come back. But she thought, perhaps he will not come back because I was so mm, harsh to him. Hmm? But then the Asaki came back and said, it's, oh, Radhika Krishna is coming just now. Then Radhika, with tears in her eyes, she was looking at her Sakis. She said, oh, why would Krishna accept me? I'm a very mm, rough mm, and angry person, Manini. Why would he accept me? Only because of your blessings. Oh, oh my dear Saki, is only because of your affection for me. This is why Krishna is accepting me again and coming back. So Radhika's prem is more than any Gopi and Brada, more than any Saki, but she thinks, oh, it's only because my Sakis are kind to me that Krishna accepts me. So she's very humble. Guru, Guru Api Gaurava Charya Vihina Muhu Upachita Vakrim Apishuddho. And even though Radhika's prem is completely Shuddha, completely pure, but it's very crooked. Very, very crooked. Hmm? It's the nature of Prem that it moves like a snake. This way and that. What will Radhika say next? What she will do? What will she do next? Krishna cannot tell. If Krishna will approach Radhika and sit down next to him, she will look the other way and pretend he's not there. It's very, very tricky. <clears throat> Once, <coughs> Once Radhika was sitting with Krishna in a kunj, he had just arrived and she looked and she saw some red lipstick on his cheek. She said, oh! At once she became upset. And then she saw that the mark on the lipstick on the cheek of Krishna was moving. Then she realized, oh, it's not lipstick. <laughs> he has some rubies, some red jewels in his earrings, and the light from the earrings was shining there. And now he moved on the lips. <laughs> then the radicals realized, oh, actually, maybe I'm too sensitive. <laughs> then she became in a state of chinta, worried. She was very worried. Did Krishna notice that I suddenly became angry? And if you think that I suddenly became angry because I saw the redness of the reflection of his earring on his cheek and I thought it was lipstick, then Krishna will think that I am too highly strong. So what should I do? And then she was in a state of doubt. Hmm? Should I hide my feelings? Hmm? So then she became upset with Krishna with another excuse. Hmm? She made up a different excuse to become upset with him, to hide the fact that she'd been up, become upset with him over something mm, that was actually not worth being upset about. So this is, Though the prem is completely pure, it's completely, Radhika's prem is completely crooked. Krishna has to step very lightly in his dealings. Hmm? So just as Krishna is the embodiment of Viruddha Dharma, all contradictory characteristics, so in the same way, Radhika's Prem is the embodiment of all contradictory characteristics. It's all-pervading, but still increasing. It's the greatest, but completely devoid of any pride, thinking I am the lowest. And it's completely pure, but crooked. Mm -hmm. So astonishing. So Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima Kintusho Vaneva. What is this nature of Radhika's Prem, which is my Guru? always teaching me about love. I don't know. I want to discover that. <clears throat> then, Krishna was thinking, my beauty is so charming. All moving and non-moving living entities are attracted by my beauty and the sound of my flute. Even Krishna himself Aparikalita purva kastamat karakari spurati mama gariyan esamadurya purya I am a hamapihanta 
prikshayam lugdu chaita sarvasam upabhoktam kamai radikeva once Radha and Krishna were playing together in a kunj and after their pastimes Krishna thought I want to decorate Radhika with some jasmine flowers so he told just wait there I'm going to pick some flowers so as Radhika was relaxing mm, on, a, on a bed of mm, uh, jasmine petals see Krishna got up and went out and he was looking around for the right flowers to decorate Shimati Radhika so he has to be very particular, he has to be very careful because it, sometimes he may pick a flower and, and show to Radhika, Radhika, no, 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 that, that's not good. That flower has been mm, tasted by a bumblebee. Only, I only decorate me with the flowers that the bumblebee has not landed on. Think, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Krishna goes out again. So Krishna was looking for the right type of flowers. And as he was picking the flowers, he saw his own reflection in the in a, the jewels of the forest and when he saw his own reflection he said who is that person i have never seen anyone so sweet before in my life hmm? this person is more sweet than me <laughs> though it was himself <laughs> but seeing himself you know when he decorates himself and looks in the mirror before he goes out to to meet with Radhika, this is one. This is one type of reflection. But that Krishna who has become Swadin, mm, mm, the, who has become the beloved of Swadin Bhatri Pakanta, that is when Radhika is in the mood that by her love she's completely controlling Krishna and ordering him what to do. That very humble Krishna, that very grateful Krishna, that very rasic Krishna, it's more beautiful. That is a dear Lalit Nayak in the highest degree. When the Dilalit Nayak has become completely under the control of Sw Swadin Bhat Katanta, at that time Krishna is called Madhav. 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 So, Jai Radha Madhav Gunjaviha. So Krishna saw his own reflection. He said, who is that person most exuding more sweetness than myself? When I see him, I became overwhelmed with a greed and impetuously, I want to embrace him just like Radhika does. So see Krishna, Krishna Ramadurye, Krishna Upajoy Lob, Samyaka Swaditi Nahi Rahimanik Shob. Srila Krishna Skaraj Goswami Pad said that the sweetness of Krishna is so wonderful that it even attracts Krishna himself. But in Krishna Leela, because he's not fully able to taste his own sweetness, so his mind remains full of anxiety and lamentation. Oh. He thought, mm -hmm. Everyone relishes Krishna's sweetness according to the degree of their brain. Understand? When Krishna entered the wrestling arena of Kamsa Maharaj, then the wrestlers saw Krishna and thought he was like hard as a thunderbolt. Krishna is very soft, but they saw he was hard like a thunderbolt. Hmm? Kamsa Maharaj saw Krishna and thought, oh, Yamaraj, death, it's death personified. So they have no love, so they cannot see how sweet Krishna is. But the friends of Krishna, they see his sweetness. The parents of Krishna, they see more sweetness. The gopis of Vrindavan, they see more sweetness. Chandravali sees more sweetness. Lalita and Vishaka see more. But only a prema dore nitya radhika e kali amara madhurya amrita oshude sukali. Krishna thought, it's only Shimati Radhika who by the strength of her own brain can completely taste the Madhurya Amrita, the nectar of my sweetness. So Krishna thought, if I could experience Radhika's brain, then having this brain, then I would be able to taste my sweetness fully. But this desire was not fulfilled in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan. And finally, Krishna was thinking,
Doharaji samarasa Bharat muni sang Amra brajera rasa Seho nahi man Krishna thought There is a great sage named Bharat Muni. He has written Natya Shastra. And there he said that when the hero and the heroine meet together, they enjoy equally. Dohara ye samarasa Bharat Muni money. He thinks that the lover and beloved, they enjoy equally. But Krishna thought, no, 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 no. Amara brajera rasa seho nahi jani. I think Bharat Muni does not know my Vrindavan. Because when I meet with Radhika, I see that in every moment, though I feel great happiness meeting with her, but when Radhika sees me, she experiences 10 million times more happiness than me. What is that happiness she feels? I want to know it. Hmm? When Radhika is... Mm, Lying in one kunj, exhausted, and eyes closed, and just absorbed in the joy of a meeting with Sri Krishna. Then, Krishna's looking and thinking. Oh, she's completely forgotten herself in joy. He cannot understand her prem. Only the fragrance of her prem is coming to Krishna. And his heart is becoming filled with intense greed, and that greed is getting hotter and hotter. Just like... If you want to make rubbery, then you take milk and you boil it. And you boil it and boil it and boil it. And the milk becomes thicker and thicker and thicker. And then when it's very, very thick, then the boiling rubber is going duck, ducky, duck, ducky, duck. Bubbles are coming. So Krishna Skyrath Goswami Pad said, Nridaya Badaya Prem Lob Daka Daki. The love in the heart of Krishna, the greed in the heart of Krishna, to know what happiness is Radhika feeling. It became so intense that greed was going duck, 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 in his heart. Therefore, Tad Bhavadya Samajani Sachi Garbha Sindho Harindu. Being overwhelmed with these three desires. So, see Krishna himself. This is the continuation of Krishna Leela now. He's appearing just as the moon appears from the ocean. So Krishna appeared from the womb of Sachimata in a golden complexion with the sentiments and complexion of Radhika in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gaur Premanande. But you should know that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this Gora Leela, he did not appear only to fulfill his three desires that were not fulfilled in Vrindavan. But also, Simati Radhika had three desires that were not fulfilled in Vrindavan Lila. And which were fulfilled in Gona Lila. Hmm? What was that? Perhaps you know, hmm? when Krishna disappeared from Rasalila, all gopis were weeping. Hmm? Chalasi yad prajaj charayan pasun nalin sundaram natate padam shila trinan kure siddhiti na so sweet. Bright gopis, they're doing akship. Akship means criticizing Krishna so much. But at the same time, they're doing pratana. They're begging him to come back. If he's so bad, bad, why are they begging him to come back? So it's amazing. Their love is amazing. That they're criticizing him, Akshep, and at the same time, begging him, please come back to us. Hmm? O Krishna, kuaka no mana chobayantihi. You're kuaka. In the previous verse, they said, you're such a cheater. And you give us so much distress. Hmm? You don't only give us distress when we meet with you. 
but you give us distress when you when you are not around also during the day atiti yad bhavan ani kananam chalasi yad brajas charya when you go out into the forest and we don't see you even then you manage to give us distress anxiety huh? why is that because hmm? one gop is thinking when krishna goes out into the forest his feet are very soft and there can be some husks of rice paddy or some sprouts newly sprouted shoots or sharp grass and he may step on them does, does krishna enjoy going out every day to the forest or not i don't know kalit latam mana kanta gachasi kalilatam means at that time when krishna is in the forest gopis are so absorbed always of thinking only of krishna's happiness and pleasure she saying radhika saying i start arguing with my own mind hmm? is krishna happy in the forest or not then my mind says to me oh you mm, nirbuti you have no intelligence at all what are you thinking when krishna is walking in in the forest surely he'll step on some sharp grass and feel pain hmm? so then i say to my own mind oh my dear mind hmm? krishna is he why will he go and step on the sharp grass and everything he'll walk on the soft sandy paths hmm? so then my mind will tell to me you have no love at all how can you say you'll walk on the soft sandy paths that's not the fact because the cows they krishna may walk on the path but the cows will go here and there they have hard hooves and they'll climb over the brambles here and there and krishna will have to follow behind them hmm? so then i say to my mind oh prem ande you you may be blinded with prem but krishna is not blind my dear mind krishna's eyes he'll look and see where he's stepping hmm. so then my mind will tell me oh you are nirvivek you have no discrimination at all why are you saying that yes krishna is eyes he can look but the cows are going very quickly krishna in haste he won't have time to look so then i say oh yes my dear mind you are right alas vidata vidata fate has written it in my forehead that i have to suffer i have to suffer only remembering krishna's suffering because i am a housewife i cannot go out with him into the forest and and bring the cows for him i cannot protect him in any way i just have to sit here and suffer so then my mind says to me oh i don't want to associate with you always you are dukini suffering 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 all the time you are so inhospitable you know if you if you associate with someone who's always suffering and their life is inhospitious then your life will also become inhospitious so don't associate with them hmm? so then my mind tells me Oh, you are suffering so much. You are inauspicious. I don't want to associate with you. I am going. I am going to go out into the forest to be with Krishna. So then Radhika said, and at that moment, then my mind leaves me and goes to the forest. So when my mind is not present, then my senses don't work. I cannot do anything. I cannot do any housework. I cannot interact with my family members or anything. So in this way, Kalila Tamana, oh Krishna, you give me so much trouble. You're always teasing me in so many ways. What to speak of? You are spoiling my household life. Even you make me argue with my relatives, and even you make me argue with my own mind. So Radharani, she was thinking in Krishna Lila. If only I could just cover Krishna's soft body. completely and protect him from stepping on any sharp grass or sharp stone in the forest i wish i could just cover him completely and protect him at all times so in gora lila radha bhava juti svalitam nomi krishna swarupam radharani's desire became fulfilled and shyam sundar became covered with the golden complexion of shrimati radhika radhika lu that if krishna will take my bhav he will not be able to tolerate it and he will fall on the ground 
So in Ratyatra, when Krishna was when Mahaprabhu was dancing before Lord Jagannath, he would jump into the air and become unconscious in midair and crash into the ground. Mm -hmm. But Radhika is there. Hmm? Anta Krishna Bahi Gaura. He's Krishna on the inside and Radhika's complexion on the outside. Radhika's completely covering him and protecting that that Krishna in the form of Mahaprabhu doesn't feel any pain. Hmm? When Mahaprabhu was in the Gambira, because Radhika is always in the mood of she's desperate to touch the beautiful form of Krishna. So Mahaprabhu in the Gambira, in separate in the mood of Radhika separation, he was so desperate to touch Krishna, he was trying to get out and Mahaprabhu was rubbing his face on the walls. And his face became scratched. But Radhika has completely covered him with her golden complexion. That he feels no inconvenience at all. So this desire, first desire of Radhika, that was not fulfilled in Braj Lila, was fulfilled in Gora Lila. Second desire. Hedi he nagar bara, suno he murali daro, nivedan kari tu apai, nivedan kari tu apai. Sri Narayan Das Thakur has written this beautiful bhajan. Radhika is in her home during the day, and Krishna has gone out into the forest. And she's crying. Oh my dearest beloved. Oh Murali Dara Krishna. Please hear my request. I only want that mm, the mm, jewels of your mm, shining jewels of your toenail will become like a necklace on my neck. But alas, in the morning time, I see you're leaving the village with Subal, Sridham and other coward boys and going out into the forest. And I come to my doorstep and I stop there and I see you walking away into the distance. And then I go back into my kitchen and I'm weeping. And my mother-in-law is coming. She'll ask me, why are you crying? So I take some water and I sprinkle water on the fire in the stove. And then the stove starts, more and more smoke comes. And then Jyotilaka, oh, why are you crying? Oh, it's very smoky in here today. <laughs> so in this way, Radhika has to hide her feelings. Avahitabhav. She has such ocean of love for Krishna in her heart, but she has to hide everything from everyone. She cannot express it outwardly. Sometimes she's tempted to express. Sometimes she tells to Lalita, Oh Lalita, take Madanga and take cartels, just go into the town square and beat the drums and make an announcement. The daughter of Brishu Maharaj is having an affair with the Nanda Nanda. <laughs> she wants, but she cannot. Lali Even if Radhika will say it, but Lalita will not do it. There will be a big scandal in Brad, so everything is hidden have to hide him but she has that desire so that desire to openly express her love for krishna everywhere became fulfilled in gauralila chaitanya kyam prakatam madunat tadvayam chaitanya aptam now these two they were first there was krishna and krishna manifested two forms radha krishna but now these two have become one in the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu so now Mm, going everywhere. Oh. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Loudly glorifying Krishna. Sharing her love with everyone. In Krishna Lila, in the Nikunja, she's only, she can only share her love with her Sakis. That's the limit, not with anyone else. It's secret for everyone else. But Radhika wants to share her love with the trees and creepers, with everyone. Mm? So in Gora Lila, now Radhika is sharing her love for Krishna with ev with everyone in this world. Hmm? So Sri Nathanda Stakur said, when Krishna was going, leaving the village and going to the forest and Radhika came to the, her doorstep, she was standing and watching Krishna leave. And Radhika thought to herself, oh, 
Why in this life am I a woman? If I had a male form, then I would go with Krishna everywhere, from place to place, from country to country. Hmm? So Krishna, Radhika had this desire. So in Gora Lila, she manifested the form of Gadara Pandit. Took a male form, and wherever Mahapur went, all over Navadweep, and even when he left Navadweep and went to Jagannath Puri also, then Radhika in the form of Gadara Pandit came, came with him. So in this way, three desires of Krishna, which were not fulfilled in Krishna Lila, were fulfilled in Gora Lila, and three desires of Radhika, which were not fulfilled in Nikunj Lila of Braja, are fulfilled in Gora Lila. And not only that, three desires of Asakis, of Radhika, were not fulfilled in Krishna Lila. What are they? Oh, listen very carefully. This is very gumbir, very profound. Perhaps you know that when Krishna disappeared from the Rasalila, gopis were searching everywhere. And finally Radhika said, Kurpadi bim brahmati deep abhadhaya shamnaha. Oh Krishna, if in this life I cannot serve you, then no need for my life. So whatever ayu, whatever lifespan is left of my life now, I'm going to give it up and offer it to you so you can live a long and happy life. And Radhika was about to give up her life. Krishna could not tolerate and from his hiding place where he'd been watching Braj Gopis weeping in separation, Krishna suddenly appeared there. Tasam avirabhuchori Smayamana Mukambuja Pitambara Daras Ragvi Sakshan Man Mataman Mataha. Suddenly Krishna appeared there, smiling slightly, very shyly, wearing garland, the garland that Radhika had given him, just to persuade her. I, when I disappeared, I never forgot you. I'm still wearing your garland. Hmm? Sakshan man mata man mata. And he looks so beautiful. He can churn the heart of Cupid himself. Hmm? He actually, Sakshan man mata man mata means man mata man mat. Not that Krishna can churn the heart of Cupid. Not this. Because this Cupid, though calm Dave, the material demigod, can control the minds of all in this world and can conquer everyone, even the great sages, even Narad Muni, even Buddha Brahma. He can conquer. Hmm? But millions of cupids, they're easily defeated by the beauty of Krishna. So here in Sakshan Manmata Manmata, that's not that cupid. Hmm? Here, Sakshan Manmat Manmat means Krishna turns the heart of Radhika. Krishna is Manmat to Radhika and Radhika is Manmat to Krishna. So Sakshan Manmata Manmata, Krishna appeared in such beauty, his beauty was churning the heart of Radhika and the beauty of Radhika was churning the heart of Krishna. So at that time, Chandravali came and very humbly she took the feet of Krishna in her lap. Other gopis came one by one, some accepted Krishna's tumble. Mm, but Radhika was standing at a distance and shooting Krishna with the arrow of her glance. She, she was mm, those gopis who have a mood like Chandravali. That is a mm, the Grita Sneha, love like a ghee. When Krishna appeared, they approached him. But Radhika's Madhu Sneha, very strong, more mamata. Krishna belongs to me. Chandravali thinks I belong to Krishna. Radhika thinks Krishna belongs to me. So she thought, why should I go to him? He should come to me. So she was staying at a distance. But all gopis, especially the Sakis of Radhika, they were quite upset with Krishna. Why did Krishna put our Saki Radhika through this great suffering? That she was weeping. Hanata Ramana Presta Kwasi Kwasi Mahabuja Dasaste Kripanayame Sakke Dashe Sanhidim and fainting and falling to the ground. Why did Krishna do this? So they put down, they took their anchals and made, with many anchals, they made an asana for Krishna, invited him to sit down. 
and Krishna took his seat there. Then Braja Gopis wanted to set a trap for Krishna to come into. Hmm? That Krishna should admit that he's done wrong, that he has a fault. But they cannot, they are very rasik. Oh, Krishna and Braja Gopis are very rasik. So they don't speak in direct terms. Paraksham Mama Chapriyam. Krishna says the indirect speech is most pleasing to me. So Brent Gopi said, Oh Sham Sundar, you are very rasik. So please, can you answer this question? Bajato nu bajante ka eka eitan vipariyayam. No bhayocha bajante ka eitan no bhuisa dubaho. Gopi said, please tell us. What is the nature? Who is the best of these different types of beloveds? One who reciprocates with his beloved. If someone loves him, then he loves them back the same amount. Not more, not less. Hmm? If you buy me a present for my birthday, then if I go online and find out how much did it cost, and when it's your birthday, I buy a present, same price. <laughs> this is very bad. <laughs> what is that? It's not love. <laughs> so this is business. So, Raj Kobi said, who is the... What, please explain the nature of these lovers. First, one who reciprocates hmm, only with those who love him. Or, what is the nature of one who loves, who gives love, whether someone loves him or not? Or, one who never loves anyone, whether someone loves him or not? Hmm? So, Eitan no bhuvi sadhu bo. Tell us, sadhu means tell us directly, straightly. That means don't try to change the subject. Gopis really want to hear the answer from Sri Krishna. So Krishna replied very nicely. Hmm? Well, the first type is a business, a businessman, a merchant. They have no love at all. So he's not even in any category of lover. And the second one, the Madhyama, the middle one, well, that's you, Sumadhyama, you Gopis. So Sumatim means you are in that category because whether I re reciprocate, whether I serve you or not, you always love me unconditionally. So you are Sumatim in the middle group and Sumatim means whose waist is also very beautiful. Hmm? Whose Madhyam, whose waist is very beautiful. So Gopis, you are Sumatim. Gopis said, don't flatter us, please answer the question. <laughs> hmm? Want to know the answer to the question? So then Krishna said, the third type who never loves anyone, he is the, this is in four categories. Atmaram, one who is self-satisfied. Aptakam, Atmaram means a person who is so absorbed in Brahman hmm, that he doesn't even see anything but Brahman. He doesn't see the varieties of this world. Hmm, like Shukadeva Goswami. Hmm. And Aptakam means one whose all desires are fulfilled, like Janak Maharaj. He sees the world. He's a king. He interacts with the world. But all his desires are fulfilled. He doesn't need anything. Hmm? So, one who doesn't reciprocate with others, whether they love him or not, Atmaram, Aptakam, then Akritagya, an ungrateful person. Hmm? Hmm? And last one, Guru Drohi. Guru Drohi means some kind of... Hmm, person whose heart is quite perverse, they even want to give problems to someone who is their well-wisher. Or even, that, that is, of course, Guru is a well-wisher to the disciple, but if the disciple wants to make problem with the Guru, to Gurudev, then that is Guru Drohi. Or, if there's a Guru and has some dependence, and they're dependent on him, but he gives problems to them, uh, then that's a Guru who is a Drohi. So that is also called Guru Drohi. So, Krishna gave these answers. Krishna said, I am not any of these. Why? Oh, 
Oh, my dear Radhika, I cannot repay you. Hmm? You see, why did Krishna disappear from Rasalila? Because a lover is always thinking how to increase the happiness of his beloved. Hmm? So, sometimes, uh, if you love someone, you want to increase the happiness, sometimes you can play a trick on them. You can hide and then jump out. Surprise! Hmm? You can play tricks on them and their love is increased like this. So Krishna was thinking, how can I give some happiness to the gopis? Hmm? So he hid. But then when he hid, he never expected that such a conflagration, such an inferno of fire of separation would come. And all gopis would become completely mad talking to the trees, imitating his pastimes. Then he thought, oh my, what have I done? And then he became shy to reappear again. So he realized, I tried to do, I tried to reciprocate with you by trying to increase your love, but I never expected your love was like this. Hmm? So I made a mistake. So all I can say is, I can never repay you. Even if I mm, mm, become your servant for millions of years, a lifetime of Lord Brahma, I cannot repay you Swasadu Krityam. Krityam is in singular. For even one of the loving services that you have given to me. Mm? You have broken all attachment for the household life, for Dharma, your family members. Mm? I have not left anything for you. I cannot leave Madhya Shoda, Nanda Maharaj, Subal, Madhu Mangal. I cannot even leave one of my cows. What to speak of a bridge bus is Krishna cannot even give up one a devotee in this world. Even a devotee who is bogus even. Even a devotee who is falling down. Even Krishna cannot give him up. <laughs> but Braj Gopis have left everything for Krishna. And their love is one pointed to Krishna. Krishna loves all the Gopis. His love has many many points. Hmm? But Gopis have one pointed love for Krishna. Krishna said, I cannot repay you. So kindly be satisfied with your own good qualities. So then hearing these words, Braj Gopis, in humility, they thought, actually, we've made a mistake. And Radhika embraced Krishna. Krishna was crying and Radhika held Krishna's head to her breast. Oh, and she felt so bad. Why did I try to set this trap for him? Hmm? It was like Gattasarp. Gattasarp Pariksha. You know, Gattasarp Pariksha? If a king catches someone, some thief, and they try and they, they make a court case, and they look for all the evidence, but they can't find any evidence that he's guilty. They can't, but somehow or other he feels he's definitely guilty, but we can't find any proof. So then they do Gattasarp Pariksha. That means the test of a snake in a clay pot. So they say, they get a clay pot with poisonous snakes inside, and they say, all right, this is the test. If you put your hand in the pot and the snakes don't bite you, then you're innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and if, they, if God inspires, because Paramatma is in the heart of every snake. So if God inspires the snakes to bite you, that proves that you're guilty and you'll die. So this is a very strong test. Gattasar Priksha. So Radhika thought that when they sat Krishna down on the asan and said, hmm, hmm, Please tell us about different kinds of love as Krishna. Then she realized, then put Krishna, it was like Gattasat Priksha. Very, and now Krishna was crying. I am sorry. <laughs> no, I can never repay you. So Radhika was holding Krishna to her breast. Oh, don't cry, don't cry. And she forgave Krishna. And she was thinking, look at this. Krishna actually disappeared so that when he... He did this mistake so that he could come back and say, please forgive me. I can, your love is great and I don't have such love like you. So Krishna was actually trying to glorify us. And what were we trying to do? We were trying to do Gattasab Pariksha mm -hmm. and make him admit he has made a mistake. So whose mood is more sweet? Krishna's mood trying to glorify us or our mood putting him in the, making him put his hand in the snake jaw. The Radhika Soto. Krishna has defeated us by his sweetness and she was embracing him. So now they had made up 
Hmm? So pastimes after making up, these are more sweet pastimes. So Ras Lila began. Hmm? Ras Lila was going on. Everyone was happy. But I have to say that the Sakis of Radhika, Radhika can forgive and forget. But the Sakis who have so much Nishta in Radhika, who love Radhika so much, they feel something. <laughs> they can and they can't forget. They can't fully forget and fully forgive. They remember. You can see in Kurukshetra, when Krishna meets with Braja Gopis, what did Krishna say? Hmm? He said, Api Darayatyas Asman Swid. Akritagya Vishankaya. Oh Gopis, do you still have some contempt for me? Thinking that I am Akritagya. Akritagya. Ungrateful. So Krishna himself is in his own words, you can see in Srimad Bhagavatam. Do you think I'm ungrateful? Hmm? And even Krishna himself he feels it also. Actually I'm I am harsh. Why? How could I disappear and put gopis through such pain? How could I leave and go with a krura and go to Mathura? So Krishna even himself criticized himself. So, in Krishna Lila, the Sakis of Radhika, they feel something. That Krishna's love is not fully pakka. <laughs> My Radhika knows about praying. My Radhika's love is bhakka, but Krishna's love is little kacha, uh -huh. little unripe. And they worried about this. Because why? The greatest happiness is love. Uh -huh. And if Krishna's prem is kacha, not fully ripe, then Krishna cannot experience the greatest happiness. So they're concerned about this. What for Krishna's happiness? Uh -huh. This is the nature of prem. They're very concerned and they think that Krishna, he has some, his kacha, his unrightness is of three types. He has some atmaram, atmaramata, some quality of self-satisfaction. And he has some aptakamata, hmm? some uh, lacking of desire. And he has some akritagra, some guru drohi. Mm? Because sometimes he gives pain to those who love him. Mm? Always give pain. <laughs> ah. So if these qualities would go away from Krishna, then he'll, then his love will be pakka, and he'll be happy, and we'll be happy also. Mm? So first of all, you know that Krishna has some atmaramata, little. Atmaramata means self-satisfaction. In rasa, in love, there's a vishai and ashray, right? Vishai and ashray, the object of love, who is love and the abode of the love. So we say that Krishna is the vishai, the ashray, sorry, the vishai, the object of Radhika's love. Radhika is the ashray, the abode of love. So in Krishna Leela, Krishna experiences the vishai jatiya prem. He experiences the joy that the object of love can experience. But he cannot experience the asraya jatiya prem, the, the rasa of the abode of love. But you should know that in Madhurya rasa, Radha and Krishna are mutually the vishaya and ashraya of each other's love. Hmm? Krishna is the vishaya of Radhika's love, Radhika is ashraya. And Krishna is the ashraya of his love for Radhika and Radhika is the vishaya of, of Krishna's love. Like that. So Radha and Krishna, they're mutually Vishay and Ashray to each other in their love. But still we say that Krishna is Vishay and he cannot experience the Ashray Jatiya Prem. Why? If they're both mutually Vishay and Ashray, why do we call Krishna as the Vishay of Rati? Actually of all the Rasas, all the Rasas have a Stahiba of Rati. And Rati means... Uh, Krishna Vishayani Rati. Stai Bhav. Mm, Stai Bhav Uttra, mm, Prokta. Krishna Vishayani Rati. The definition of Stai Bhav, the foundational of love, is Rati for Krishna. He's the Vishay. So the reason is this. When Radha and Krishna meet together, then seeing each other, they feel so much happiness. Mm? 
Radhika has come only to please Krishna. But when she sees Krishna, when Krishna touches Radhika, then she also feels happiness. It cannot be that she's come to please Krishna, but she doesn't feel any joy herself from Krishna's embrace, from Krishna's sweet words. So when Krishna serves Radhika, Radhika feels joy and her face blossoms. And she becomes very effulgent, whole face and all body is blossoming so beautifully. But the purity of Radhika's love is this, though she only lives to serve Krishna and give happiness to Krishna, but Krishna also serves her and she feels happiness. But the happiness that she feels, 100% she offers back to Krishna to please Him. Understand? So when Krishna meets Radhika, Radhika's face is glowing and that glow is offered back to Krishna and Krishna feels happy that oh, seeing me she became more beautiful. Huh? So in the same way, when Krishna sees Radhika, then he only wants to please her. But seeing her, then Radhika touches Krishna and Krishna feels so much happiness and Krishna begins to glow also. And that happiness that Krishna feels, he also wants to serve Radhika with his own happiness. Hmm? And he offers that happiness to Radhika 99.99%. <laughs> but 0.01% he keeps for himself. <laughs> Why? Why? Because Krishna has some kusanskar, bad impressions. <laughs> You see? So the way everyone behaves is because of their impressions, you know? So if you do sense gratification, why is that? So you have Kusan's got some bad impression. So Krishna, not, he has no material impression, but he has, from the perspective of Prem, Prem being Paka, he has some Kusan's car, and that is some bad impression of Atma Ramata. That is that, I am God. Mm. Mm? And God is Atma Ram, self-satisfied. Mm? So because Krishna from time to time, he has to, you know, do godly things and so on. So he has some samskar of this. And because of this samskar, though everything he does is just to please Radhika. And Radhika pleases him. But then the pleasure he feels, he offers that back to her. But he keeps a little bit. <laughs> so Sakis are thinking, Krishna's prem is not Paka. Yeah? And if he could just give that last bit, <laughs> then he would feel what is really praying. Hmm? So, Krishna has these three faults. Atmaramata, hmm, Atakamata, and Guru Drohi. But when see Krishna appears in Gauralila, that time he has no Atmaramata at all. Now he is absorbed in Radhabhav and cannot be satisfied. Mahaprabhu is always crying. Kamura Pranunato Murali Badan Kahan Karan Kahan Pan Brajandanandan. Oh, where is Krishna? Where is the, that flute player? Where can I go to find him? Without him, I cannot stay alive. Kunanda Kula Chandra Maha Kusiki Chandra Kalankriti Kwamanda Murali Brabaha Kwandu Surendra Nila Juti Kwarasura Satanavi Kusaki Jeeva Rakshao Shati Nithi Mama Surita Maha now Krishna is in the Gambira and weeping. Oh, where is that moon who appeared in the dynasty of Nanda Maharaj, who plays such sweet deep notes upon his flute? Oh, where is the hero of the Rasa? Where is he who is a medicine to save my life? Without this medicine I will die. Alas, alas, he is my only friend and my only treasure. Where is he? The data has written in my faith that I have to suffer. So now Krishna is experiencing what it's like to be completely no Atmaramata at all. Hmm? Always hankering, hankering at every moment with greed. And Aptakam. 
Is mm, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire fulfilled? N never. Does he feel that he's become the fulfilled as an as a individual, as a person? That he's made it in life? Hmm? Self-satisfaction? Never. He's crying. Na prema gando sti durapa meharo Kranda me so bhagya baram prakashitam Vangsi valasana salokanam mena Vibhami tat prana patangatam brita Mapu is weeping. I don't have brain. I don't even have a scent of brain. I don't know what the fragrance of brain is like from very far away. What is the proof? Without seeing the face of Krishna playing upon his flute, why am I still staying alive? Some harad I stay alive. My pran is biting me like a mosquito, just disturbing me. I should die at once, but I am still alive. Why? Because I have no love for Krishna. Hmm? So now Mahaprabhu, he never feels fulfilled in his life. Hmm? Because this is the nature of brain. It is unquenchable thirst. It doesn't matter how much love you have. You feel that you have no love at all. This is the true nature of brain. And Guru Drohi, hmm? though Krishna can be cruel and give pain to his beloveds. Oh, abandoning Braj Gopis in Rasalila. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is never like that. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is always kind to one and all, hmm? to everyone. Even to the animals, to the snakes and tigers in Jarikanda forest. So in this way, three faults in Krishna, which were not removed in Krishna Lila, but the Sakis of Radhika were thinking, if only Krishna could become free from these faults, then we will be happy. Then Krishna will be happy. So these three desires of Sakis were fulfilled when Sri Krishna appeared in Gora Lila. Nitai Gauru Premanande So you're all very fortunate to come in this Sampradaya, Brahma Matta Gaudiya Sampradaya, the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Try to follow your Gurudev and mm, hear and chant and remember under the guidance of Rupa Goswami and our Acharyas, and then you can receive this great treasure that Mahaprabhu has come to give, Radha Dasyam, the service of Srimati Radhika. One question, Prabhu. Can we ask a question? If it's on the subject. Okay. <laughs> no Vishayanta. Vishayanta means another subject, changing the subject. No Vishayanta. Okay. On the subject. So, so the Kopis, they, they were burning for the release of all energy of Krishna. So we are burning also. How do we get some of what they have and what is burning us inside? <laughs> How is samsara, dhavana, lalita, loka? Only burning in material existence. Yes. That fire is extinguished by Guru Seva. When we serve our spiritual master, then anartas go away. And when an anartha here means especially nama parat. And when we become free from nama parat, then chaito darpana marjanam, the heart becomes cleansed by the chanting of the holy names and then bhavad maha davagni nevrapanam then that fire of material existence is extinguished when we become free from the dehatma buddhi hmm? dehatma abhiman identification with this physical body and mind 